Well, it can happen to anybody. Head lice. Yep, you might have gotten an email from a school nurse mm. at some point saying, ah, there's lice in your kid's classroom. So what can you do? Two registered nurses who have started a company join us now, Lisa Redquist and Rachel Knudsen. Thank you guys for being here. Your company's called Ladybugs, right? Correct. Uh, tell us, uh, head lice, and Kylie and I were just talking about it. Yeah. It is, uh, it's kind of gross, right? There's little bugs crawling around in your head. Nobody wants that. But what is it exactly? It's just a parasite, and it's the longest known living parasite to humans. Oh. Um, they, when they've dug up mummies in the past, they have found knit combs in the mummies, and they have found lice in the casings. Oh. So it's been around for a long time. Oh, the grossness just sticks around. Yeah. Okay, how common is it? You know what? It's very common, actually. Yeah. It's actually second to the common cold for something that ch child might acquire at school. Um, so we're seeing, you know, upwards of 20 million cases here in the United States every year. Wow. wow. Uh, how do you check? How, oh, great. Oh, here. the video. Do we really need video? <laughs> oh, 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 don't do that to people. <laughs> How do, how do you check for head lice? You know what? It, you see live bugs there on the screen, but we never look for live bugs. We actually look for the knit, which is the egg. Oh. The egg is laid a quarter of yeah, an inch away from the scalp right, on the hair oh. shaft. Yeah. And they are static, meaning they don't move. Um, and so they are actually easier to find than a live bug, because the live bug will scatter once you start moving the hair. Oh, so they laid eggs in your hair. I did, I did not know that. You didn't know okay. that? Oh, that's uh, the best part. That's yeah. super gross. Let's talk about some of the things you guys have done, because you said that they actually have kind of become immune to what was the one that you used to use as a kid, Jason? Uh, RIT. RIT? Yes. So the lice, yes, have become resistant Some to of the, the chemicals. Yeah. To the over-the-counter yeah. chemical yeah. Um, products, thus making them resistant. And Minnesota is a state where all the lice that were tested here were 100% resistant. What? Okay, yes. so you guys have done so something else. So you have health. stuff, yes. right? You so have we, a, uh, th there are these kind of clinics around the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we have a clinic that's in Hopkins on Excelsior Boulevard. Um, we do free head checks by appointment. A lot of parents, since they don't know what they're yeah. looking for, can come to us for a free head lice check. Um, but certainly we do treatments there also. We've got our products here. Um, we have a lice elimination kit, which works differently than what you'd find in the pharmacy. How this works is through suffocation with grapeseed oil. So really what we're doing is eliminating lice naturally without the chemicals and pesticides. Mm. And then we've got the lice prevention products, which are formulated with mint. And mint has a lot of research behind it that tells us that lice will um, go away from the scent of mint. So um, those are the products. And Should parents be yeah. worried? I mean, when you find out your kid as lice, it, you deal with the parents. It's usually a pretty uh, hardcore freak mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. uh, is that warranted or not? Any time a parent's going to find a bug on their child, they're going to freak out. Yeah. Um, we have a we have a one eight hundred number. We also have a local number, and we just recommend look up on our website, call us. We have someone that will answer all of your questions. Really, no need to panic. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Good. All right. Thank Very you, guys. Good. Well, you know, hope uh, hope no one was eating when we rolled yeah. that video. <laughs> Super I'm glad gross. we have weather before we have our food segment. Yeah, we need a little bit of a buffer there. <laughs>